In this video, we are going to solve the phishing email challenge from Let's Defend Platform. This challenge is totally free and is designed for beginners. In this challenge, we have to analyze an email that appeared to be from PayPal in German. We have to check whether the email is part of some phishing campaign or not. To solve the challenge, we can either download the files and analyze them on our own machine or we can use the lab VM provided by Let's Defend. Click on the connect button to start the VM. After the VM is loaded, you can open it in another tab to use it in full screen mode. Open the files folder and we have the email file. Now uncompress it with 7-zip. The password for the file is infected. We have got an EML file. Thunderbird client is already installed in the VM. Double click the email file to open it. Our email will be loaded in the Thunderbird client. Click on view on the right side of the email and select to view source. The email will open in a raw format, which we can now easily analyze. You can now copy the raw email and paste it into any online email header analyzer. So, just copy the header and paste it on the email header.org. Click on Submit to start the analyses. Let us first perform manual analyses of the email and try to answer the questions. The first question is, what is the return path of the email? Open the raw email. Scroll down and look for the return path. Here we have the email address. Copy the email and submit the answer. The second question is what is the domain name of the URL in this mail? Open the original email. If you hover over the embedded website link, you can see the complete URL on the left bottom. It looks like a subdomain of Google. So type the URL in the answer box. Next question. Is the domain mentioned in the previous question suspicious? We can make use of the virus total website to check the reputation of the URL. Open the virus total website. Click on the URL tab. Now submit the suspicious URL. And we get our results. So, it has only been flagged only once as a phishing attempt by well known detection engines. If we want to get fresh results, we can click the Reanalyze button to check it again. Now, let us check the community comments about the URL. Click on the Community tab. If we read through the comments, people have often found the URL to be malicious. So, our suspicious is correct, and the URL is part of some phishing campaign So, answer the question is yes. The URL is suspicious. The next question is, what is the body SHA-256 hash of the domain? Go back to the virus total website. Click on the details tab. Here, you can find the body size as well as the hash of it. So, copy the hash and answer the question. The next question is, do you think this email is a phishing email? This we have determined by our analysis that this is a phishing email. Answer it as yes. And we have completed the phishing analyzer challenge. Now, let us see a few things more that we have got from our header analysis. We have the email server that was used to send the email. So, we can identify the actual domain. We have the IP address which provides the originator country. Similarly, 
we have the spam score, which looks good. But if we look further, we can see that it has failed the DMARC policy. We also have the mail transfer agent and other interim nodes information, which can be helpful in tracking an email. So, in this video, we learned how we can trace an email and determine whether it is part of some phishing campaign or not.